Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the uh, find the radius of convergence on the interval of convergence for this series. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use the ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. We all we always need to get a n plus one divided by a n. Well, a n plus one is this divided by a n is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of a n, which would be this. So uh, so uh, so now now if you look at this block, and if you look at this block, if you merge these two blocks together, um, it's it's going to become negative one or positive one. And when you take the absolute of negative one. Uh, and or, or positive one, it, it will still be one. So so you can ignore uh, you can ignore these two blocks. So ignore these two blocks, and uh, and and then uh, and then multiply this out. So that will then give you this, uh, and then that that will then take you. Uh, oh, and and also multiply this out. That will then give you this. So uh, so that will take you from here to here, and then once you're here, once you're here. Then, uh, then we need to understand. Well, you, once you're here, you should have a hunch that this thing might somehow cancel out with this. You should have a hunch. But let's let's try and understand what's going on with this. Two n. What it, what does it mean to have two n plus two factorial? So wait there. So uh, so so for you to try and understand what's going on here, put something simple into the n. Put something simple. Let's say n equals three. So when you put three into here. Uh, that would become six factorial. That would then become this. So, so this is your this is your n n equals three here. And then when you times two, what, sorry, there uh, should be brackets here. Hang on, bear with me. Um, when uh, when you uh, when bear with me. So uh, so this is uh, n equals three here. So when you when you times two, then that would then become two n. So this is your two n here. So 2n factorial equals this thing here. Now looking at this, looking at this. So when it, when n equals three, if you put into here, this thing here will be six plus two. That will be eight. So so if you if you look at this, this is your n here, and then when you times two, that will then take you to the six. So this is 2n here, and then when you plus two, it means uh, plus an extra and then plus an extra. So you can see that uh, this thing here and this thing here. Well, look at this. Cancel out. Leaving you with well, if if this is um, if this is n and this is two n, then this number seven here will uh, will be will be two um, n plus one, and then this number eight here will be two n plus two. So 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 you can see that so uh, this will cancel out with with this to become this. So wait there. So from here from here that will then take you to uh, Oops, hang on. that will then take you to here, because um, all that's left here is this thing here. Because if you look at this, if you if you get this divided by this, so that's you doing this. If you get this divided by this, that will then give you. Well, you can see that cancels out, cancels out, leaving you with two uh, n plus one, and this here will be two n plus two. So that's uh, that's this two n plus one, two n plus two, and then this two n factorial here will uh, will disappear, leaving you with a one. Okay, so so uh, and also from here, I uh, rewrite this as this one block multiplying with another block. So that that so from here, so from here, that will then take you to to uh, to here. That will then take you to here. And then once you're here, uh, this will cancel out with this, leaving you with this. So once you're here, um, re re remember, in, in order for convergence, we require this whole thing here to be less than 1. Well, you, looking at this, as n tends to infinity, no matter what you put into the x, let's say you put 98 into the x, 98 squared, well, as n heads towards infinity, this whole thing here will always be Will, will, will always be one, um, will always be zero. So, so in order for convergence, this whole thing here has to be less than one. But if you look at this here, uh, as n heads towards infinity, this gets multiplied to the top. As n heads gets, as n heads towards infinity, then, then, then the whole thing here will equal zero. So no matter, no matter what you put into this x here, the, the limit will always be zero. Well, zero is, is less than one. So you, you know you're going to have convergence. So,
So, um, so you so so you can put anything into the x; it will always converge. So the so in this case, our radius our radius of convergence will be um, will be infinity because it goes all the way to infinity, and uh, and the interval of convergence is well. You can select x to be to be anywhere on the real number line. So so your interval of convergence will be this. Okay.